Hello gamers, Jamie here again for the Game Shed. Today playing another Sega Saturn on rails shooter. Um, this time going to be hooking up a bit of Virtua Cop 2. So this arcade port was one of my favourite arcade shooters back in the day. Uh, this and House of the Dead obviously. Um, here I'm going to take on the beginner mode, uh, which Big most people Chase. will be reasonably familiar with. It's called Big Chase and features a lot of car chasing and general shenanigans. So I believe the story here is you're a cop and some naughty criminals are knocking around trying to rob the jewellery shop on the right hand side. So I'm just taking them out. You get bonus points for things called justice shots where you shoot the criminal in the arm or you get bonus points for triple shot uh, laying down three bullets in the same person in a short amount of time. So usual gun game rules apply. Shoot with the trigger, limited amount of bullets, here six in the chamber and to reload just shoot off screen simple enough. You do get other weapons in this game as well by uh, shooting various objects to find the hidden weapon such as trash cans etc. So now I'm going into the jewellery store. Annoyingly but also quite a challenge, civilians will pop up out of nowhere like that chap running along in the background that you have to avoid hitting. Now, if you do hit them, you miss a life. You lose a life, even. So just be careful. You start off with four lives, five credits. In this video today, I'm just going to try and get through scenes one and two of this easy level in my four lives. I'm not going to carry on uh, to the big boss in this level. Uh, this video will take too long. You lot will lose interest because I've really got nothing to say about this. There we go, I've just lost a life. Um, but there are my stats for the first scene 75%, 90 hits out of 119. So, not too bad. And this is where the car chasing begins. So, you can, uh, you'll be chasing a number of cars, and uh, the criminals will pop out, and you've just got to finish them off. But here's a little trick for you you shoot the tyres on the car you're chasing, you can take the car out, thus eliminating the bad guys popping out. There we go. Pop that one in the tyres before the criminals even manage to get to shoot me at all. That guy was a little bit too quick for me. And this car's a bit tricky here because you've got a civilian popping his head out. But you also had a bad guy in the back shooting at you. So you just got to really make sure your aim is spot on on this. Now we're about to head over to the apartment block where things get a bit trickier. But first, a van load of people to deal with. This game does become a lot easier the more and more you play it because you start to remember where certain people are, where the hidden items are, where the civilians are, etc. It's a beautiful game, absolutely stunning game. If you've got yourself a Sega Saturn, invest the few pounds or dollars and definitely get yourself this. Now remember it's only going to work on a CRT old school style uh, screen. It's not going to work on your HD telly. 
Now I'm using a rifle that I found in that bin over there. And there's a few hidden things coming up, um, which will pop up in other windows. So I'm going to try and grab myself a life here in the bottom right hand corner. There we go. Done it. And immediately lost it. So it says this level's easy. It is fairly easy, but it could be a bit easier. So that wraps up our scene one and two for Virtua Cop on the easy level, or Virtua Cop 2. There you get to shoot the, um, the signs and carry on either right down the road or left. So definitely go and get yourself a game. I'll give it an eight out of 10. It's almost perfect. So if you've got any thoughts, drop us a tweet on this address here, or visit our blog where we rant about various gaming bits on this address here. So anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Jamie, and I'm out of here. Bye-bye.